people. I wanted to quickly give a brief presentation on the changing face of human values that we are witnessing worldwide in, in the leadership positions in companies, institutions everywhere. And that's because people are changing. And unless you know people and where they are changing and how they are changing, how are we ever going to address the problem, right? So this is the human chakra system for all esoterically minded out there. These are the points at which we feel those particular things, all of them which are listed from top to bottom. Okay. Now what is changing since 2020 and how are we addressing that and the kind of questions that individuals and people all over the world in their homes, families, jobs, businesses, etc. are asking and why is that changing everything else? We'll talk some talking points here. Okay. The first one they are asking is, is it safe? Because this center is responsible for safety, nurturing and security, right? Safety. This is one aspect that was completely wiped out by events from 2020 all over the world. Small businesses, mom and pop shops went bust. That's where most of the livelihoods of people are. People lost their jobs, homes, basic structures of life were shattered what people thought was safe to be is no longer safe the jobs are no longer safe the businesses are no longer safe in some cases as we see in the, at the current time in 2022 even some countries are not safe so what is safety redefining the idea of safety is what people are doing individually collectively even your company will be affected by that that's the point number one because we bank on that a lot as humans, individuals and as collective, is it safe for me to be here? People are not feeling safe anymore. That's the first point. Second point, identity connection is felt there. Do I feel connected here to this company, to this job, to this business? Do I continue doing the same things of life over and over again when the world is not making sense anymore? People are trying to separate sense from nonsense. Identity, a sense of ego and belonging come from this center. So people are evaluating that very, very strongly at every level possible because of all the events that has happened since 2020. So identity connection, loss of number one will result in loss of number two because these are all connected like you can see. All centers of these are connected. We are an integrated human being. You can't separate one part of your life from another. Okay, people have lost their connection, their identity and connection to the company, to their job, to their role, to their business. Since the element of safety has disappeared, once safety has disappeared, you don't feel connected. Okay, because this has a cascading effect, like you say, it goes upward and it goes downward. Next, what are the kind of questions they are asking? Does this make me happy? This was never the question asked before, probably. But now it's since 2020, it's been asked a lot. Seeking heart connection and happiness is what people want now in their life. People have changed their value system. People have lost all sense of joy they once derived from doing the same jobs everywhere. Since number one and number two are no longer there. Number three is also no longer there. So they are feeling hollow in whatever they're doing. It doesn't make me happy anymore. There is no energy to anything that they are doing, which they were once doing. That's the main thing to take away from all of this. What is all this for? They are asking this kind of questions. What can I, if, what can I take away from all of this? Why am I not feeling it here in this role, in this job, in this company, in this business and therefore in my life? That's the third question they ask. The fourth question they ask is, am I recognized here? This is a big one, especially for working people in companies. Recognition and fulfillment, since one, two and three are not there, even this goes missing. Okay. Recognition and fulfillment is big, even in the Maslow's hierarchy theory, we see that the self-actualization portion of the hierarchy of human evolution. Since one, two and three cascaded into another, it becomes an obvious result. There is no satisfaction derived from what once seemed fulfilling, safe content and working towards an achievable, measurable, quantifiable goal of life. Those times are behind us now permanently. Don't look to going back there. Okay. So I'll summarize this. What now then? What are we supposed to do? We are in the middle of a shift of all human conditioning, living, working on a grand scale worldwide. 
human conditioning, living and working. This is shifting everywhere. Something never witnessed in history ever before. So expect a change and learning to move with the tide. It will only be challenging for all leadership everywhere. And it will cascade into all areas. Which areas will it cascade into? It will cascade into this. Relationships, jobs, business, institutions, governance, politics, culture, religion. These are all the big aspects that human beings work for and they are being shifted right below us. So what happens if you are in a leadership role? What can you do? Well, for one thing, ditch old outdated ideas and stop parroting them. Stop talking about the same old BS. People are not buying it. Even you are not buying it. People around you are changing. Your people are changing inside out. Recognize this. Okay. Ask those simple yet hard questions. These are all simple hard questions people are asking, your people are asking to themselves and their lives. See if you can give yourself an honest answer to begin with if you are a leader. Considering that all in your company are going through and the people in your company are also forced to go into because of everything that happened since 2020. Now we are in 2022. We still have a little, quite a distance to go as individuals and as collectors worldwide, as a society, as nations. But of course, it will be a churning exercise full of challenges till we get to a place where we can say, ah, yes, we have arrived to a much better place now. We can breathe a little, feel a little safe, feel a little connected, feel a little happy and more seen here and recognized. In the meantime, realize that promoting old outmoded ideas of belonging, sense and sensibility that you used to in a world pre-2020 or fancy ideas like cryptocurrency is not going to solve what each one of your people in your company are feeling inside. This is what they are feeling inside. Answer the hard questions for yourself first. Check before standing on the pulpit to preach to others. For then and only then you will begin to peep into what could be the reasons for events like the Great Resignation. It's talked about a lot, the Great Resignation. You can look it up in tons of articles on LinkedIn happening in USA and probably other places also. Mainstream media hardly covers anything else. These kinds of things, they don't know what's happening in other countries, for example. But it's going on worldwide and we are not going back to the same place which we began pre-2020. But we are going to evolve into hopefully something better. How do we create something better? First answer these four basic questions for yourself. Then answer these questions for your company and people. Because if it makes sense to you, it will make sense to your people. Okay? Take care.